Hello everyone, welcome to the first session of your online keyboard club. Now today we are going to cover a few exercises, but before that we will recall some notes. So let's begin with the exercises. Alright, so let's recall the notes first. So as you can see, there are sets of two black keys and three black keys repeated several times on the keyboard. You might be using a smaller keyboard, but it will still follow the same concept. So like before every set of two black keys, there is a white key. This is called C. Then again, before the set of two black keys, there is another white key, it's also called C. All are C. But the thing is, this is the C of first octave. This is the C of second octave. And this here is the C of third octave. Let's start with the C of the second octave in your keyboard. So let's do a free session exercise. Use your consecutive fingers for the consecutive notes. Like first finger here, second here, third here, fourth, and then fifth. And do a swift motion with your fingers like this. Moving on, another thing that you can practice is the C major scale. Let's begin with the C major scale. Let's recall the notes first. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Once again, C, D. Now what I want you to do is use your first three fingers for the notes C, D, E. Then take your thumb, move it under the tunnel of your third finger and place it on F. Then use all the five fingers for the notes F, D, A, B, C. Once again, start with your thumb, that is the first finger. Use the first three fingers for the first three notes. C, D, E. Then take your thumb, take it under the tunnel and press it on F. Use the rest of the four fingers for the consecutive note. G, A, B, C. Now the final result would be something like this. Now you can use the reverse formation as well to practice. In that, we'll use the first five fingers first. Five, four, three, two, one. Notes being played are C, B, A, G, F. Then, you have to use your third finger, take it over your thumb and play E, D, C. When you will have a control over both the exercises, you can combine them to practice them in a loop, which will sound something like this. Alright guys, so if at any point of the video you didn't get the part that I was trying to play on the keyboard, 
you simply rewind the video and watch it again and again until you get it and I would like to request you to practice it again and again so that you get better on your instrument. Alright, see you soon. Bye bye.